bringatrailer.com. I'm actually not too familiar uh, with this website, but what I am familiar with is I am familiar with automotive sales because that's kind of what I retired from. And I'm also familiar with photography, uh, taking photos of cars that are for sale. So today in this video, we're gonna go over a couple of things about uh, why bringatrailer.com is different, how we're gonna shoot it different so we can get this car sold for the biggest bid possible. This is my first video ever like kind of sh uh, showing off photography, but it kind of plays right into like what I used to do inside the car dealership and that is take pictures of vehicles that get sold. Uh, so one thing that I do notice on bringatrailer.com is how thorough they are. They have videos, they've got tons of photos, and that's just completely different from what we used to do uh, inside the dealership. It was like, oh, if you have 20 or 30 photos, like that's a big deal, that's a big job. Uh, but this is some next level stuff, so I'm gonna go through uh, with you the process of making sure you get the photos that you need, again, to get your car sold. So without further ado, let's get it started, let's get outside, and uh, and start on the outside and then we'll work our way back on the inside. That's kind of that's like kind of my flow personally. I like to start on the outside, uh, and then come in probably just because I'm in Florida. It's a little chilly this morning, but I'm in Florida and then I'll be able to turn the AC on and all that good stuff. So anyways, get outside, let's get it going. Bringatrailer.com, this is uh, how to get your photos better. Let's go. very first step, the very first step for me anyway, is to find a location. I've found this spot, and um, if, if you've seen a couple videos, you know that um, I've shot here a couple times. It just, it seems like uh, it's kind of quiet, there's not, there's not much traffic, and it, it just, it's kind of sleek, it's kind of cool. So uh, that's what I've done. I've just lined the car up in a spot to where I know that I can get the whole way around the vehicle. Um, some of it does require me to go back kind of like in the bushes a little bit, but that's cool. And then uh, my final shots are going to have these big stacks right there. We'll have these big stacks on it too, so a little bit of aesthetic. Um, but most importantly, as far as like what I'm doing right now, is I'm on a locked off tripod. And I want to try to keep the same focal length. So basically what I'm going to do is, is I'm, I've got my tripod set up. I'm only going to shoot these first couple of shots at around 35. So 35 is going to be my shot. I'm going to go the whole way around the car so that way when the person's uh, flipping through the photos, it seems seamless. So that's the first part. I'm just going to go around the car right now and, uh, and get, those, get those first couple of shots. One thing about shooting down here in Florida is the harsh lighting, right? Like, sun is beaming. I've got uh, like pretty thick shadows coming off the car. So what I'm gonna end up doing is I'm, I'm gonna end up moving the car, like turning the car around. Uh, so that was kind of like my first go around. That was like real quick, just whoop. And then um, I'm gonna do it again. I'm gonna have to actually have to do everything twice because it's a convertible. Uh, so the shots are gonna have to be done basically three times. That was my first pass. I'm gonna do another two passes around the car right now to get it with the top up and the top down, just so that way, um, you know, any of those shots that look kind of blown out and stuff, I'll be able to have the same angle just with the car slightly turned, if that makes sense. So um, there's not really anywhere here that's like a really good spot. So just gotta get creative and just start flipping the car to try to make sure that you get all the angles because some photos are gonna be good and some photos are not gonna be as good. So that's what I'm gonna do next, is I'm gonna flip the car, and then um, after I get that done, then we'll go into detail shots. So I just went the whole way around the vehicle. I just got all of my detail exterior shots um, including the hood and the trunk, the trunk where the, the motor's at. Um, so that is complete. I'm getting ready to turn the vehicle around um, and we'll do one more shot, like I said, exterior wise, top up, then we'll do uh, top down, then we'll come into the interior and then it'll be ready to go to editing. But, uh, but first, like I said, I wanna move this car because just the way that the light's coming in, I, I know that 
Um, I know that a couple of these shots aren't like 100%, but once I flip it, it's gonna look a lot better because, you know, Florida, light. And I gotta say, I no longer need a sweatshirt. It's getting to be pretty smoking, pretty hot out here. Check this out. You know what's cool about a Porsche? Just straight up, left side, right there, left hand. Porsche, the ultimate car for vloggers. Yeah, you get to hold it and just go straight left-handed. Alright guys, the last thing that needs to happen now is just to get some shots of the interior. And so it ends like that, that's where it ends at. So basically I took those photos then, I went back into my editing software, everything that you saw was uh, post edit, so uh, that was about another... I don't know, hour, hour and a half's worth of work to get all those like just purified, just make them look nice. Um, and then I began the process of starting to list on the website, which is like I said at the beginning, like I knew it was gonna be detailed, but I didn't really realize how detailed it was. Your photos go into review. I'm not a photographer for that company or for this company. So um, what I just did was all based off my own opinion. I guess we'll get their opinion uh, here in a couple days. And uh, for right now, I'm gonna do it again. Like I'm gonna start shooting all over again on this one and uh that's it man that's it so if you guys if you guys are interested in some more information about this website or the process or like probably do a follow-up i'm definitely gonna do a follow-up as far as the posting process and uh we'll follow this uh the last car the red porsche that you just saw we'll follow that through the whole bidding process and all that good stuff i think i can document that um as for this one Porsche Turbo, this thing is a bad mother trucker. I feel like I feel like I'm always recording Porsches for some reason. Um, but yeah, I just got done, just got done shooting this one as well. So uh, it's gonna look a little bit better with this beast that I got now. Look at that. Ooh, yeah. Uh, so gonna get these photos uploaded and uh, the process started for that so I'm running out of time. But again, I really appreciate you guys stopping by. Let me know what you think. Like bring a trailer.com. Bring a trailer.com. I would want to just drive this one home personally. Listen to this. Ooh, she bad. She bad. And she's about to be for sale too. So be on the lookout for that. Porsche Turbo. Have a good day, guys. Appreciate you being here. Cody Reed. If you haven't already done it, click the subscribe button. It means a lot. It helps a lot. And uh, yeah, we'll see you in the next one. Double deuces. Appreciate you being here. Have a good day.